Why do you decide to teach at BI? Uh, I've been at BI for seven years. And uh, before that, I was a traveling philosopher, uh, working in organizations, uh, giving seminars and uh, lectures on ethics and other uh, topics. And then I had a session with the top management at BI about values and dilemmas in uh, running a business school. And then they became curious about my competence and uh, I was, became curious about what it would be like to be at BI. So that started the process uh, which landed me in, in uh, my current position. Um, and I think it's an exciting workplace with uh, excellent students and good colleagues. What classes do you teach in the program major? Um, the students meet me in the ethics classes, uh, the applied business ethics, where we work with uh, dilemmas, and also uh, in a class on fallibility at work. I've for a long time been interested in how good companies uh, learn from their mistakes and uh, encourage people to take risk and, uh, and uh, learn from how, from the mistakes that are likely to happen. Uh, why do you think these classes are important for students? I think they will prepare them for life after BI, uh, where they will uh, enter organizations um, uh, where they have to become a, um, accustomed to change and to circumstances that might not be as they would have wanted them to be and, and to the tensions of everyday life in an organization. Um, why do you think it's important to teach ethic, uh, ethic classes at business schools? I think it's important to create awareness about how the conduct of uh, business uh, affects society and all the and as major stakeholders in society. And um, it's important to prepare students for that sort of situation where they have to give priority either to economical considerations or ethical considerations. What makes you unique as a professor? Um, I have a background in philosophy uh, and uh, I like to engage in dialogue about uh, important issues. Um, but I think the main thing here is that we are a community of teachers who support each other and, and also collaborate to create an exciting study situation. What do you hope that students take away from your classes, from your lectures? I provide more answers than, more questions, I mean. I provide more questions than answers, so I hope they leave the auditorium uh, with some interesting questions and ways of dealing with those questions uh, later on in, in their working life. Um, uh, in 1998, you defended your PhD thesis entitled Living with More Luck, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, what is the uh, quintessence of it and how do you include it in your lectures? Um, I worked on the topic of moral luck and how outcomes can affect the evaluations we make of what people have done. And you can have moral luck in business as well. People take risks. And if things go well, we will say that that was a very smart thing to do. Uh, but it could equally, uh, it might have gone wrong, not for reasons that co are connected to the, to the person acting, but to the state of the world in a way. Uh, but then we still uh, value f success much higher than failure in a way. So uh, I've been interested in, in moral luck and how to uh, reason about our choices, not only in the light of how things turn out, but also in the light of the actual 
a risk we take when we engage in some, some activity. Uh, so I think uh, luck is a, a concept that it's well worth dwelling on in, in, uh, in teaching and also in, in the practices in, in organizations. So how do you try to include it in lectures or incorporate it in lectures? Um, I incorporate it in lectures through the discussion of dilemmas and cases. Uh, so we might look at a case of a huge success and say, consider to what extent was this all to do with the, uh, a superb decision making and to what extent was it due to coincidences and, and luck. And the same with failures, to what extent was this due to the fact that people were made the wrong, uh, wrong decision or to what extent were they just uh, unlucky with the way the world turned out. Um, what are you most passionate about and how do you try to include it or incorporate it in lectures? Uh, I think I'm most passionate about collaboration and how people work together. Um, I think we tend to look for heroes and, and point to separate individuals when we look back upon something that people have achieved. But I think it's more interesting to see uh, the collaborative aspect of it and the miracles of collaboration that people are able to perform and what can happen when you bring people together and see and, and get them to work well together. That's, uh, that triggers me. And how would you like to be seen as a professor? I hope the students uh, experience that it's easy to talk to me and to uh, be, uh, come into a dialogue with me and that I don't have the fixed answers to, to the issues we talk about. Uh, but uh, that we find out things together rather than me providing the answers.